Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and I'm back with another toy review and today War for Cybertron Kingdom Tigatron and this is a special figure for me because back in the 90s he created something he gave me my love of white tigers I kid you not, you'll see in the pictures that I'm gonna show now that Tigatron was responsible for me getting a lot of white tigers most of them now are at my sister's place with my niece and nephew uh, I gave it to them when they were kids and now they also have a small love of white tigers. But when I did some uh, changes to my life and I had to go back to school and I had to, you know, change all of my stuff, I had to downsize a little bit uh, my uh, living arrangement and uh, couldn't keep all that stuff. So I gave it to my niece and nephew because they also enjoyed uh, white tigers uh, when they were younger and I hope they still do today. Tigatron was always one of my favorite Beast Wars characters, voiced by Blue Mankuma. You've seen this guy everywhere. Eventually, when I get the Beast Wars for voice acting spotlight, he's gonna be a, a, he's gonna have a long list of stuff I'm gonna have to cover, and I actually cannot wait. I love this actor, so I hope this was a little surprise for everyone that this iconic actor, working actor, was the voice of Tigatron. And uh, I always liked the, the character, the personification, very calm but would get angry when needed, uh, a stalker, quiet, you know, pre preferring to hunt alone, but uh, getting the job done, always there for his fellow Maximal, had the good relationship with Cheetor, big cat, small cat, little cat, some cat, so very enjoyable character. So we're gonna take a look at the figure now, but just before that, if you wanna go check out my voice acting spotlight, the main feature of my channel, I take voice actor of the Transformers, right now I'm doing G1, Eventually, we'll move on to other iteration of the Transformers, but that's the main thing on my channel So if you want to take a look at that, I'd appreciate it. So without further delay Let's take a look at War for Cybertron Kingdom Tigatron Next time you're looking for Maximals, keep your mind on the job. Well, now that he's out of the box, let's take a look at the guy that initiated my love of White Tigers. Let's take a look at the instruction. As usual, I'm going to flash them and then you can pause wherever you need it. There you go. So I'm sure that was really helpful. Uh, the card Unicron again, uh, of course, with the planet uh, mode Unicron eating Cybertron which never happened. Great card, my second one. And then the actual box. Great tiger, love him. Love the artwork. I, I like that they actually included the paws in that, uh, that shot. And the whip, and ah, the hand is empty. There's no gun showing. The face sculpt is really good. Uh, do we have any cameos? No, we don't. Maximal logo, Kingdom artwork, and something interesting, this here. I've checked with other Kingdom boxes that I own, well not all of them, but a couple, and he is the only one to have a painting on the wall. So I think that's pretty neat, like Waspinator doesn't have it. Maybe other figures have it, and I just didn't notice, but I think that's pretty cool. Great product shot, 23 step, any cameos, none that I can spot. And now the star of the hour, Tigatron. He's a fantastic figure. Uh, the eyes, you know, the uh, usual uh, red for Maximals and Predacons because there was uh, barely any blue. I don't think there was any blue. I think all the eyes were red, uh, which doesn't mean it's evil. So the gun, cool feature about the gun. I don't know if it's a feature, but pops up so you can I don't know do something else I haven't found anything else to do with it but you know so if you need to plug it somewhere to extend another rifle it's an option so very nicely molded I uh, could use a little paint but I think it it fits the bill and then this whip here uh, it's just the tail so it's like you know you're holding uh, one of your own limbs in your hand to hit people with. So it, it'd be weirder if it'd be an arm. And now this guy, 
He's fantastic. I can hear the voice actor. I don't own Cheetor, so I don't know if uh, he's an exact remold. I hear a lot of a lot more positive remarks about this guy uh, than we hear about Cheetor. So uh, articulations for this guy. The head does spin 360. The arms, if not for the kibble, would do a 360, but there's no way to angle it properly. You have a double bend, so the elbow bends here, but you can also have it bend like this. So it's an option. The hand will rotate 360. Uh, let's see, if it's there, if I lift all of this, is there a, yep. You can twist the whole waist around, it's perfect. Legs are very loose. This, these joint, especially this one here, is very loose. So, but they do a perfect split. You have a uh, move forward. They don't move backward because of the skirt or the butt flap. Uh, you got a 90 degree bend. Uh, and also a little bit forward because of the transformation, but it unpegs the, the hidden beast leg. Foot, you get lots of back and forth because of transformation mostly. You don't get, oh no, you, do you, yes, you, we have a rocker. So posability is great. And then you have a heel tilt because of transformation. That's pretty much it. If I miss anything, let me know in the comments, but fantastic figure. And now, let me just, I have to say he's a little back heavy, so he's hard to stand, and I can't really pose him right now because of his, uh, his um, loose, uh, loose joint. So let's remove this and do some size comparison with original Beast Wars Optimal Optimus figure, who was missing a few parts and is broken at the head but I don't mind, this is a fantastic display piece. Generation selects Deluxe Class Nightbird, custom non-official Herald of Unicron Raziel Kane, a custom figure by Input Reviews and Customs, and Core Class Vermin. And now to take a look at transformation, first thing you're gonna do is just realign the arms, and then all I like to do is start with the leg here, fold this, Pull this up like this and we're done not not bad transformation honestly put his feet down properly he stands pretty good he hides the robot part a little better than uh, well uh, the only other cat I have is uh, agent ravage so I'm just gonna bring him for more comparison of course the size is very different and the way that he hides his parts in the back well that's not much different but you can see that the uh, the they did the same kind of you know spikes except uh, Tigertrons are a little bigger and of course no guns like they say that you can put the gun underneath and it looks terrible so uh, but that was a quick comparison for cats and, uh, but I do have to say that in robot mode, Tigertron hides his legs way better than Agent Ravage or Cheater. Um, I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of the yellow dirt uh, paint fade that they added. I would have preferred a plain white tiger, but uh, I don't know. It's, it, I guess that's it was in the budget for the figure, so they said might as well use it. But it, you know, they could have used it to cover some joints instead. I don't fully understand why they chose that color scheme, but he's still very, very nice. Articulation in cat mode, tiger mode is the legs. They can do, because of transformation, they can extend quite a bit. And uh, you have a knee band, then a full leg up and down, like the foot, not the leg, sorry. Uh, doesn't rotate though, but it gives you very nice posability. Uh, you can, because of transformation, the hind leg can go up and 
back quite a bit and same type of articulation for the back foot but it's held because of the foot plate or the uh, whatever guard plate that is um, I don't think it hides the butt really well though not bad uh, the tail doesn't move and you can extend it a little bit if you want but it doesn't look right uh, and the posability I'm not gonna do it on screen here but if you want to pose him in a, a hunting position a stalking position an attack position you can it just takes a lot of time to get the proper balance and everything so that it looks actually really good but it's there it's a fantastic posable alt mode and now for some size comparison with siege impactor probably one of my favorite mold of the siege line I think it's very unique and he's a really fun transformation. Kingdom Core Class Soundwave, Kingdom Cyclonus, the best mold of the Kingdom line, and Studio Series 86 Grimlock, the best Grimlock that's ever been produced, mainline. He's a fantastic figure and I do wish that they would have been part of Kingdom, would have been nice to see those mechanical Dinobots with the Kingdom uh, Beast. That's all for comparison, let me put him back into alt mode and give you my final thoughts. Tigatron. Maximize! Actually, just before I do my final thoughts, might as well show you what I meant. If you look at the legs on Beast War Ravage, they're, you know, very visible. They don't blend in with the, uh, the shin. They're just over it. So it's not that bad because of, it's the same color, so it doesn't show that much. But if you look at Tigatron, they actually, when you do it properly, sorry, they actually just, you know, show a little bit here. That's that's a shin guard, you know, that, that makes sense. It's not outside the shin, so I really like that. So now, really, for my final thoughts. And what better way to close this review with my favorite couple of the Transformers. I think both of them were killed off way too early. Air Razor was extremely underused. I understood how they came back as Tigerhawk, story-wise, plot-wise, it made sense. Didn't like it. I liked Tigerhawk, I really did. But I wish we could have seen more of this love story. I mean, Black Arachne and Silver Bolt took all the spotlight when it came to that, but I think a more normal non-conflicted relationship between two Maximals would have been of interest not just to me but to a lot of the fans I'm glad I have this couple I'm super happy to be able to display them with my Beast Wars uh, characters and I'm actually glad that after all these years of me loving white tigers I'm able to have this guy so thanks everyone for coming by if you enjoyed the video please like subscribe and hit the bell also leave a comment I love reading you guys and remember nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole take care